，未必是原始。海马两眼转，全部都白。这个问题就很好解。It's brown. It's Megatron, except it's not Mega, because it's security. And it's brown. The album is brown. Yes, it's also obsolete with an Omega. Yes, which means it's the ultimate obsolete. Right. We have reacted to Fear Factory once more than a year ago. I don't even remember the name of the song. You're not supposed to say that, but it's true. Good. Oversharing out of the way. Yes. This is a current on Police State 2000. Fear Factory from the Obsolete album. Are you ready? This was a suggestion by Brian Sipe, aka Sipe, which rhymes with hype, because I got some. No, I'm not ready. Creepy words. I'm getting me for speed vibes. You need a break. Guys, filming these gets tiresome after a while. We've been filming for a while, and then this happened. That, that's what that results into. Brain spine of mine removed. Yeah, feels a bit like that. Hence me gooey. Hence he gooey. Okay, uh, that intro was spectacular, because you have like all the sort of... At first I thought it was like creepy news sounds, then I realized it's actually like police transmissions and stuff. And then you realize you're in Need for Speed. Yes, and then I got like Need for Speed Most Wanted vibes. Because I felt like I'm most wanted. <laughs> by police, not by, not by anyone, you know, interesting in any way. Um, <laughs> and then that's, and then you get this alarm, like, like this warning sort of alarm starting in the background and then the music starts on the same pace with that and just feeds in, and then the ribs kick, and then it's Pantera, and then they kick some more, and then it's Meshuggah, and then it's both, 
And then, yeah, your, your spine is just not there anymore. You said it for me. Pantera was the one I w- wasn't able to place and Meshuga was the one I was getting ready to say. Yes. I, I stole it. This is Pantera with Meshuga and with electronics. It's Pantuga. Are you sure it's not Meshera? I think it's Meshtera. That really sounds cool. That sounds like a supercar. I could, I could see, I could see a new supercar brand showing up and calling, calling themselves Meshtera. Top Gear would trash that name in so many ways. I know! <laughs> Remember what they did with the Pagani Huayra? What's it called? It's called the Hurrah. <laughs> yes, this was not supposed to become a video about cars. No, but the need for speed vibes got us there. Yes, it's been a big part of our childhood, so we do apologize. Yes, this was amazing though. I love the pacing in the riffs. It's so brutal and in your face and just like chunky like like you want to chew it yeah. <laughs> like it's so good mm-hmm. and it, it has like this rip the hard effects where you you feel like it's coming for your throat yes like yes. when it cuts there there are the constant cuts in the wrist that's yeah. what really gets to me i lo- dude i know we're into all the new school stuff but i definitely like to hear the old school sometimes this yeah. is bloody good it's absolutely relentless and i would say it's not obsolete yeah not even with an omega in we go? Yes. Yeah, it's like all the combinations of bands that are very moshable, but very creative come to mind when you listen to Fear Factory. This was a lot better than the previous one. I felt that way too, yes. It was spectacularly good. And honestly, the most amazing aspect at the end is how they were able to bring it into the sense of an anthem and finality without ever compromising that dynamic sense of frantic, disturbed chaos. That was so good. 
And the vocals are spectacular too, like the you okay? <sighs> no! I feel I feel like we we were we just were into the same mosh pit. I bounced into a fluffy guy and you bounced into a bouncer. If you yeah, catch my idea. That's what it feels like. Like you you've just had a hard. But I do want I do wanna I do wanna go into a mosh pit at a live show with this bat. <laughs> And see what happens. That that was an overload. I I'm not keeping track of most of what was there anymore, which is sad because most of what was there was amazing. Just like all the riff writing, all the melody writing, all the transitions and the ways the song evolved were mm-hmm. spot on. I feel like all the all the machine gun strums that come in and out give it really help it with that alert pace. Yeah, all the time as well. I I. Th- I think we also got some really good pronunciation on the vocals. Yeah. Like you could understand words a lot of times. If you were paying attention to that, I was paying attention to my brain being splattered all over the walls. <laughs> Brand of sacrifice throwback. Yes. <laughs> um, only these guys don't have a mob. <laughs> they just have an epic outro. This will make no sense if you don't watch our Brand of Sacrifice reaction. So go do. That was the point. Yes. That's why I mentioned that. Self-promotion. Cause yes. we need attention. Yes. And a mosh pit. Right now. Give me attention in the mosh pit, please. What? But don't give me attention in a mosh pit, because I know what that means. The most surreal part was when he switched back to cleans after that whole brutal, chunk yes. Goshi Rai induced effect. And yeah, it was just so... Okay, now we're doing this. <laughs> it's like, no, you don't. Yeah, yeah, we are. But I'm like, yeah, we don't care. <laughs> Honestly, when Band's Master transitions so well, that's how it feels. Like, Okay, I'm done. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we really appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. We've been. Thank you very much for coming back. We hope you enjoyed your stay and we'd love to see you back at the window very soon. Parts out.